Welcome to a new year, my friends. It's always a bit sad putting away the holiday decorations and getting our environment ready for a new year, but the idea of starting fresh always puts a little pep in my step, knowing that I have the opportunity to reflect on things I did or didn't do and give myself the opportunity to grow even more. Let's sit down and talk about the year ahead and how we can make the most of it. Hey friends, happy new year. My name is Sess. I am 30. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I am 30 and I live in Central Florida alone. I work as an underwriter for an insurance company. I work fully remote and you know, all of that introduction aside, I am so ready to start a new year and really live up to my potential as a person. Let me just tell you about 2023 probably one of the most challenging years of my life. In the years prior, I was going through a lot of different changes and I was in and out of depression a lot. But 2023 hit me because I made a decision to move, to start fresh, to get away and really find myself. And I didn't find myself, I was freaking lost even more lost. And I just felt a sense of loneliness. I just feel like a bit hopeless inside and i'm just like what do i do with myself what do i do with myself but i do have cherry pie <laughs> it's like at this point i'm just like using food as like a coping strategy 11 40 in the morning i have like a whole day ahead i wish i could just fast forward until the point in time where i feel good again but I almost feel like I don't know where I belong. It was such an embarrassing thing for me to admit to people, but I'm gonna just be real. I felt so lonely and I have friends in my life, but it just was a very different type of feeling. I felt lost because I was 29 at the time. I felt like I wasn't doing anything in my life. I was single. In years prior, I had been in a really long relationship with my partner at the time. We had been together for five or six years. We had a home together. We had a life that was going one way but we made a decision a few years ago to part and we're still friends we're, everything is good there but i finally had a chance to kind of sit with myself and just all the decisions that i made and i just felt very alone and like damn what am i gonna do with my life where am i gonna go am i ever gonna find love like just things like that really just dawned on me and i felt so hopeless i still feel all of those emotions now but it doesn't affect me to the point where I'm not eating or not sleeping or sleeping too much. I have a better control of my life now. I felt like I wasted last year being depressed and anxious, but this year we're gonna turn things around. I would love to hear how your year went. And now that we've kind of reflected on the past a bit, let's romanticize the future and see what this year could bring us. When I think about what I want 2024 to be, the word that keeps coming up to mind is community. As an introvert, I tend to neglect relationships without realizing. And of course, I mentioned that I felt so lonely last year, but I wanna change that and be a better friend and family member because during some of my lowest moments, the people that reached out to me randomly without me even telling them what was going on, those people really had an impact, whether it was just, hey, I'm thinking about you, or hey, would you like to go get dinner this day? Those small acts of kindness really helped me and I wanna be someone who is more thoughtful for others. I also really wanna make health a priority because your health is the foundation it's probably one of the most important things and I eat out a lot it is it is sickening and I just need to get back to a healthier lifestyle and continue focusing on things that I do enjoy do doing more of it like reading and making art and being present with Charlie my dog and of course sharing all of this with you guys obviously a very simple thing to do but there is something about kind of romanticizing the future that definitely gives me a little bit of boost of optimism not saying that all of this stuff is gonna come without any effort of course but just getting a visual idea of all the great things that life can bring is definitely something that gives me a lot of hope now that we have a visual idea of what the year could look like and what we want it to look like i think it's definitely important to talk about how we plan on making those things happen and goal setting and all that i used to be someone that would set you know, goals and check in every quarter on how they were going. But instead, I want to really work on building better systems in my life. For example, I want to eat healthy and, you know, exercise. So I can say only eat out on the weekends and exercise three times a week. 
but in order for me to do that i have to make a lot of changes like grocery shopping on a more consistent basis meal planning finding exercises that i enjoy setting my day up so exercise is not a difficult thing to fit in you know those are like a lot of different micro decisions that i need to work on to make those two things easy to achieve you know what i mean i don't know why that didn't sound right. So one way I'm going to do that is trying to build a healthy morning routine and really focus on what I'm doing during work hours and after work hours so that I feel like exercise is easy to do. Cooking is easy to do, you know, just lowering or getting rid of the resistance around those things. And I have talked a bit about community. For me, one of the biggest decisions that I'm making is just moving back, being closer to family, where I currently live now. I love it. I'm close to the beach. It's amazing, but it has been so hard for me being away from my friends, even though they're they're just like 40 minutes away. It's, it's not the same when you get a text like, hey, we're going out for dinner in like an hour. Come join us. I need to be back with my people. So that's going to be one thing that we do. One thing that I have been doing is participating in community events. So if I see like a yoga class or an art class, I usually will sign up for it. So I want to do that more often. Right now it's kind of randomly, but I want it to be a bit more routine. So once a month, maybe I'll join some type of community class. And I think doing it solo is a good idea because then it'll force me to talk to people and we don't got to be best friends during this class, but just getting out there and talking to people and showing them like, hey, I'm actually a very nice person. <laughs> I think that would be good, you know? All right, I have my puppy with me now. So let's talk a little bit more about some of our goals and all that. So obviously finance is something that we all can work on at some degree. For me financially, I have built a lot of good habits along the years, but I've never been consistent. You know, like one year I'll save and then the next year I'll go freaking crazy. There is no consistency. One thing that I want to do is just save more than I spend. So that is gonna require me to work on how I budget and all of that, but I know I can do it. I've done it before. I just need to fix this impulsive brain. And to kind of round out our goals, I do want to talk a little bit about YouTube. I'm here talking to you now, and you're probably wondering like, what, what is your purpose here? And you know, I made my first video in 2009. Can you imagine where I would be if I stuck with it? I would probably be a way better speaker, way better at editing. Um, way more engaging all of that but i was always afraid i just could never stick to it i remember i did a video in like i don't know 10 years ago and it got like 20,000 views it was about like my first apartment i was doing a little apartment tour it was a really terrible video but i was terrified i'm like oh my gosh like people are watching me like i don't want to be seen and that's kind of been my problem in any creative endeavor really it's the fear of being seen not wanting to take up space. I never really understood what that even meant. What does take up space mean? But I realized it means just being okay with showing up and having an opinion and having a voice and being open. But I'm here and I just wanna share my own experiences and what it's like being introverted and living alone and entering your 30s and feeling like you've wasted so much time doing nothing and I just want to share my experience and hopefully connect with other people and maybe even build even more community. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm saying community so much. But also I really just wanna be creative with digital illustration. That is something that I love doing. I just don't make, I don't make any time for it and painting and all these different things I just love. And I want to be consistent at creativity. You know, I show up for my corporate job whether I'm sick, tired, whatever, like I give 100% of me to a company and I'm grateful, you know, it pays for this place that I'm in. It allows me to do things and share experiences and be generous with others. That's wonderful. But can I also show up 100% for myself? Because if I could, I think I would have it all. I would have it all if I could just do the things that I love doing too. All right, friends, I must admit, I am so tired of hearing myself speak. So I'm going to end it here. I would love to hear what your goals are for the new year. And we can definitely support each other. And of course, I'll be sharing my progress along the way in the next few videos. So I hope to see you there. Bye.